New England Radio, Radio, Radio. Yeah, yeah. So from my city, my words. The movement will be televised. So where would, would these niggas think they highly? Look where would, would these niggas on some molly? Look where would, would these bitches think they highly? Work that out like both. Let's do it, wood. Wood. These niggas on some molly. Do it, wood. Wood. Bitch, get the fuck around me. Catch TT the Dun Dada, LC Rass, and Tweezy the Dun on Louie Wood Radio.
that's clean enough to fool your mama. Black on black 44, call it Barack Obama. I see them watching, they watch me, but they can see me. Well respected like Trump, but my move not sleazy. Take it easy, baby. No evidence, just put your lips on my print. I might pay your rent. I like counting bread, love when that dough rise. Build it to the top of the south to holler at my guy. King of the bluegrass, made with your blue black. If I stack slack, so come correct. Don't mind a pit bull pistol or my queen, mister. Put the cameras away. Plugs don't take pictures. Hold up. Plugs don't take pictures. Hold up. Plugs don't take pictures. Here. This is a photo opportunity. Look at here. This photo opportunity. Hold up. Plugs don't take pictures. Hold up, plugs don't take pictures. Here, this is a photo opportunity. Look here, a photo opportunity. Look here when I hold me. I can see that you're phony. Flash it, see it as grown man. Laugh it, cheese in the pose it. Oh yeah, he is an audience. Police, see him as a conquest. Now this snitch get your own twist. Now the criminal got it. Jump on, you can't beat the plug. Make it too loud, you might as well be the informant. Let's put this in perspective. I got the keys on time like it's my watch. You a detective Checking on me early in the class You need to mind your business I'm pressure when you shoot your shot You know plugs don't take pictures Man, this is just a photo op Shout out to TT the Don Dada. Uh, we going to hold it down for her, man. But, um, Raz, man, how you feeling, bro? Man, I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling great, man. Feeling great. The New Year's going to come in. The hot days going to go past. I'm feeling good. I'm getting everything together. Getting my life back on the track after this okay. divorce shit. You know what I'm saying? Getting back on, on, on the game. You know what I'm saying? I got my daughter off the turn. Got her new apartment. You know what I'm saying? So she's doing pretty good, getting the gun license, getting all those kind of stuff established with her. And I'll be all the way up fifty on my way. I'm trying to get my motherfucking turkey fucking fixed. I got the parts. Nobody won't make money. So I looked on YouTube today. I'm going to fix the motherfucker myself. Okay. But that's all been going on with me. Uh, got new places on the roof, cool, man. Well, with the underground show. Um, as far as that, Louis World Radio, y'all know we're here right now. We back. Yeah. No, I'll be gone for a minute. We back. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Six o'clock on the dock in your spot. But I've just been chilling, man, getting back on the grind, man. Get back on what I need to get back on, man. But this new coming year coming up, man. Everything's going on track. Everything seems to be smooth. Yeah. Oh man, that's great. That's that ain't how great. you get out of your best of that. You hear me? How about you, uh, Ty? Uh, you know, we we always at Louisville Radio, we always got the family in the house, so how you okay. feeling today? I feel good. I I've been nibbling, dabbling in a lot of stuff lately, so 
I said I was going to take the opportunities that was given to me. So that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, all day. That's what we own. That's what we own. That's what we own. Um, I'm man. I'm I'm like really. It's a lot to talk about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot to talk about. I don't know. Is it? it you, we what what we doing, Raz? We gonna jump right hey man, into let's it? Off, we're kicking off with that opportunity that you got in the video. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand, man. That's that, that was a great opportunity to get with a member. You know what I'm saying? That one of my favorite groups. We already talked about that. You know what I'm saying? Before. Yeah. And just to have that feature, you know what I'm saying, the video, I mean, how was that, you know what I'm saying, to be with a major artist, you dig what I'm saying, and doing features, because a lot of people, some people is doing it, you know what I'm saying, they paying a lot of money and doing what they do to uh, accomplish that feat, you know what I'm saying, but how did you get in that feat, because you've been going to Bowling Green, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying, no, no, uh, I got a feature, and that's that, like, you, <laughs> you, you, oh, hey, y'all, well, look, hey, I, I, shout out to my people, Danny G. I, I, I just fuck with him like probably like two hours ago. We was up at DB's, um, just catching up. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I was telling them the story of how I start fucking with him. And uh, as far as Big V, and I was telling him a little bit more to where I had to explain it to to him like this, man. Um, I, I really only operate like one way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's being as transparent as I can be mm-hmm. and be playing my part, being mm-hmm. more being who I am to you right. more than trying to figure you out right you right, know what i'm saying right. so that's that's really how it works so i'm not trying to use nobody right you know what i'm saying i could uh i can see your potential and then with big b psh, it's a no-brainer right you know right. what i'm saying but i'm still gonna work with you just like how i work with ty just how i work with uh anybody who i work with right you know what right. i'm saying so that's how i did it i went down there and i fucked with him right i got in this you know i went up there hollered at him you know, I wasn't on no, hey, what can you do for me type right, shit. Right. You know, I was just like, well, what People can I do? You. Yeah, I yeah. was being who I was. Yeah. And it, it turned out how it turned out. And it's a lot more coming. But um, I just, you know, being the type of person I am, um, I, I I want to pay my dues. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't yeah. want to get nothing That's for free. That's yeah. being real. That's being real. Like, you want to be your no, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta give you because that is real shit. Like you ain't telling no lie. That's how me and you back. Yes, sir. We be talking about that shit. We like, man, come on back. Like we didn't do nothing like that until we came down. That that's how I like to do it too. You know what I'm saying? That that that's some real shit. And that's I'm, I'm that story you explained. I can imagine that's what the fuck you did. Yeah, Cause we did that. Exactly. <laughs> that's what we. That's what. That's the point. That's the whole point of. Uh, elevating with each other, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I know, you know, I can be on a negative vibe and be like, whatever, just say whatever negative type shit. But regardless, that guy, I, he has etched in my memory. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. And he's been there, so you can't take certain shit away from nobody. Right, right. You know what That's I'm saying. Right. So, right. and I, and the reason I'm saying this is because we're in St. Louis, and you know, some people love to hate. And you know the obvious is the obvious. We all know obvious shit. Right. But right. whoever we are as an individual, you know, if I if I feel like I'm gonna link up with Big V, it's gonna be something big. Whatever you think you're gonna do with Big V, that's, that's for like, you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like everybody, yeah. whatever you go, whatever go on, or whatever, whatever you do is for you. Like you yeah. make it whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. You can only expect what you plan, what you want from it. You know uh, what I'm that's it. You know, so um, Big Don't V. Don't go off nobody else. Though. Yeah, and Big <laughs> right, V been right. nothing, he been nothing but uh, showing love. You know what I'm saying? He ain't been on no. You know, he's been showing love. He been genuine. He actually damn near. I can say about 99, 95 to ninety nine percent of the time. He says the same shit mm-hmm. over and over, and for somebody either you, that's just what he do, you know. Mm-hmm. Until you know it's the next level, 
And right. that's what, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm going I'm to show, straight say this to them, uh, on the business tip, on the song we put out, it was 100. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It, and I can, it, and this is what he do with everybody if it's in the same situation. As far as money, I ain't going to speak on that right now, but I can speak on it. I can tell you what it is, but I would rather speak to you on, on our level instead yeah. of just putting it out there right, right. now. But right. uh, I can tell you the contract part of it, it was 50-50, and he get 100, he get the masters because he they he did right. the beat and he produced mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And for me, 50, I'm good with that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's that's the type of, that's what he want to be on. He's on, pu- he's on producing. He wants to produce. So he do have a price for a song. If you want to get him on a song or you want him to, if you want to get him on a song or you want him to produce a song, he mm-hmm. I know the price for that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you just want him on the track where you just want him to be, you get the beat and you produce it and he won't, I got a price for that too. Okay. But he really wants to produce, and that's what we're doing. That's what I'm on with him and business-wise, and then I'm also helping him out with getting more uh, shows out here. Okay. So, we 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 got this listening party coming. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? That that's what that's what type of shit I'm on. And okay. that's what and people know that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be doing a lot more networking out of town because I fuck with the people who I fuck with. Right? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. I don't gotta lie and act like all that. Business right. wise I'm fucking with who I'm fucking with. Right. So, um it's time to branch out side of her and Show them what we got, yeah. <laughs> and they love what we got. And I'm with you, like, like I said, yeah. I'm there, like, whatever. You know, I'm probably not the person that likes to be in front of the mic and all that stuff or whatever. But when it comes to, okay, well, promoting or whatever, like I sit in, I can promote, you know, yep. Yep. get out there, do all that stuff or whatever. If some needed, I'm be behind the scenes or whatever. I'm there, so whatever you need, I'm there. Yeah, I'm rolling with you all day, and I, I appreciate that. Uh, I did say it on a uh, philosophy show. I didn't say it on this show, but I wanted to thank you for coming through at the Yours Awards and helping out in the beginning. You came early, then left and came back shining. So <laughs> I appreciate that for real. Thank you know what I'm saying? Thanks. So you know, I, I, you gave me the opportunity when we did the no, started the No Let Up podcast. So you know, yeah. I just I'm. Showing my appreciation. All day. Um, and the No Let Up Podcast won it, yeah. So, well, oh, my bad. Let me, I forgot I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I was surprised. I was straight surprised we won. Like, seriously. Look, me too, because, you know, uh, uh, Doc and them always win. They always win on their podcast, so I'm thinking that they going to do it, you yeah. know. But I had my people, I'm like, every every morning, like, we got group chats and shit <laughs> with the ladies, group chat with my family. Every morning we wake up like, did y'all vote? Did you vote? Did yeah. everybody vote today? This was every day. So. Uh, hey, well, I'm going to say this. Shout out to our peoples. <laughs> Hey, I was like, damn, we won that motherfucker. <laughs> I know, I know, I knew before you, but I still was surprised right, when I was looking. Right. I'm like, damn, we straight winning. <laughs> I was like, damn. damn. <laughs> hey, damn. For, hey, for what is it? Do we got that? Nah, yeah, we got it. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, shout out to everybody, man. And I don't think did we talk about the yours awards yet? No, nah, we was talking. No, nah, we was just talking about the big beat thing and everything. Talking about the yours awards. I ain't get to come to the yours awards. I know, man. This thing was live, man. Though. I'm gonna tell you like this, Brass. That was like one of the most perfect events that I feel like I thrown. Like I was straight. That that event went straight like super perfect. Yeah. Like super perfect, yeah. even with the issues. Like people were trying to get in for free, and it was just like any other. You couldn't even tell yeah. there was no issues. Like this yeah. would be the first I've heard that it was any issues. That's how you know it was a good ass. That's event. how you right. know because everybody, we was all on the same queue. Everybody, even the people that was kind of 
it, the issue, they were still on, they wasn't rowdy or no shit. They right. just didn't know, probably, okay. or whatever. So, and then, you know what? I can contend to that because you hear a lot of uh, awards and then, you know, Facebook. Mm. No motherfuckers don't talk. So you got your Facebook gospels and your Facebook shit talking. Oh, yeah, you yeah. You ain't heard shit about the door. <laughs> like, all the awards. You haven't, but all the other awards like, did have awards, negativity and stuff like, you know, that right. from what happened. I, I haven't been there, but, you know, it's just like with a lot of talk that was yeah. negative for those awards. Oh, uh, that you right, you For right. She ain't lying, cause like that's on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Well, my reach went way far out. I see some shit, feel some shit, but like a year, like every four show, you heard some about this happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was getting hell hot. Oh, I did too much for this, and oh, the host wasn't nothing. Oh, the, uh, oh but yours was. <laughs> it was definitely entertaining. I hate I missed too. It. Man. It was entertaining. Like Man. from the beginning. Now, I to know the I end. have my issues. I got my issues. I'm sorry. Thank her. I'm having my personal issues. I gotta take her. You know, I'm sorry. But I will be if it's yours was. I'm not worried about it. I'm a single man. I'm rolling man. And now I'm back got my shit back. I got my swag back. I ain't had my swag for the whole year. My swag was my <laughs> and then I created Mr. Spin the Banister. And then I created Mr. Spin the Banister. And then I created Mr. Spin the Banister. And then I created Mr. We we here, man. We here. We rolling. We always connected. It's always uh like life stuff. That's what. Well, you already understood my situation anyway. When I, I hit, so you already, we already talked. Already. Yeah, it's like yeah. man, we 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 riding. This is what we doing. You know what I'm saying? If if I if the show can't go on without you or without me, then we need to be hooking up with other people that can make shit happen. Right. <laughs> right. Shit. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's never going to be right. no leave outs because we all, it's all love. We, right. we, man, we, we, man, we killing this shit. That, that, that's how I be looking at it every time we do an event or, you know, I don't really, you know, I do want people to be there and certain people to be there, but that's not the end all be all. Right. Like, it's whoever right. there. And right. long as you still, long as it ain't no malice shit, you ain't coming because you don't fuck with me. Right, right. Then, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know you, man. We've been right. riding way before. And shit happens. <laughs> way like, before this. Shit happens to where you just can't make it. Life happens. Yeah, and I know, yeah. we all know about that, man. Yeah, I had a bad, yeah, bad. But, yeah, yeah, that's Well, this is my thing. You, you had <laughs> a bad personal year, but your business yeah. year was beautiful. You know, what I'm you know people wouldn't have known I had a bad year. Yeah. Just ask that. Thank you. You sure all right. Yeah. If you don't know me, you ain't watching no one. Yeah. <laughs> But shit, that's a lot of us, though. That's yeah, a lot of yeah. us. We motherfuckers be looking good business-wise, which is what you're supposed to do. But personal, boy, that shit don't be... It be struggles. <laughs> it be struggles. I was in the first place, man. Man. I want to kill people. Man. Man, I had to sit back. I had to kumbaya. Right. I had to look at shit. I had to look at kids. I had to look at situations. I had to look at situations where somebody else was in the situation that I was in. And how they came in that situation, they end up in dead old oh, my dead. Yeah. And so I looked at so many situations and I looked at it at a way that I could carry out. Even though, don't get me wrong, that shit be hurting how this shit happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm going to places like that. I want to do shit to people because how the shit happens. Especially, mm-hmm. you know, as a man, when I was growing up, they said, when I get married, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And what I did, I did every man in traffic, mm-hmm. turned the family, made the decisions, all that great shit. Mm-hmm. Didn't, didn't take you to go look at the car, took you to buy a car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All the good, good shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Took it in the way that I got done. 
take it and play it. Mm. And for us to just play. So that was our really in the dark. I want to kill everybody. I, ooh, I, ooh, 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 ooh. But you know, when you sit back and you actually take those emotions away, mm. because you can't keep up emotions. See, emotions should like take you to kill. Mm. Hurt, like is it. You have to take those emotions away. Mm. That's what I was able to do because I've been working on taking emotional shit away. Mm. Take the emotions away and look at the picture. Mm-hmm. Look at where you could have been, what could have happened, who people would lose. You dig what I'm saying? You go so deep into yourself that, okay, this how now I'm going to handle this situation. And I'm going to have to handle it at my own pace. You dig what I'm saying? No, I have to be left out. You know what I'm saying? I have to handle this shit because I don't want to go on the deep end, so I have to handle this shit at this pace so I can get back to rack. Mm-hmm. At that time, it was rack. I was a fucked up, broken heart, goofy looking, that bad looking. <laughs> Didn't even want to call my husband. Looking at ass. Looking at ass. Looking at ass. Hey, look at that. So, so my time, hey, time heals everything. That's a true statement. Time heals everything. So let you keep moving on and you move forward. And let you keep looking and see what you're reaching and then looking at your little accomplishments, looking at stuff like that. You really move on from that shit and then you really start taking it as, okay, let's see what it is. Because that's really how I play right now. You hear shit right now? I give a fuck. Yeah. Get shit over there. I'm on another mission. You got my swag. Man, and, and, <laughs> dude, you you talking about that? It's like, you know, I got four baby mamas, right? And as hard like before, I started doing this business shit. It was it was family shit. So you can just imagine how hard I went with my family tripping. Like I, I was like on some straight. I, I'm just that type of person. So if it wasn't that, it was like. We wasn't gonna be together. <laughs> it wasn't gonna right. work. It, right. it wasn't gonna work. So, you know, I tried to hold on for about ten years with my um, second BM. My first BM, we was hella young, so that that just yeah. wasn't that wasn't gonna work anyway. But my second BM, I wanted it to work. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, ten years into it, bro, and, and Queen, mm-hmm. it it just was at the point where it's like. Every, you know, I'm, I'm a boss, so I'm doing boss shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if me and you together and I'm selling good, or blue, 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 blue right. you're not finna bring nobody in the crib who finna take my shit. Right. right. Yeah. Right. That's the type of shit I was going through. I mean, <laughs> like that. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it took me a while to have to wing off of that because I didn't want to. You know, I had kids with it. It's right. like, God damn, that, that's some extra shit within that. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got people that's going to steal from me, and these your family. And mm-hmm. so I understand what you mean by, like, you got to take the feelings out of it and straight move like you need to move. Because yeah. if you got the yeah. feelings in it, you're going yeah. you gonna to be thinking like, man, I don't want to leave the kids here. Or, right. Well, she's still a mama. You hold her to that responsibility, and you get the fuck from out of here. And, yeah. and just continue to take care of your children. Like, you know, if she hit you up with child support, oh, well, handle it, because oh, she well. going to hit you up. Right. Because oh, she well. ain't fucking with you for real. Because right. Any, yeah. anybody that'll bring somebody in your crib and steal from y'all, you ain't thinking it's y'all then. Right, right. <laughs> so. It ain't y'all. You, no, you it ain't. Shit. You want some other shit. Yeah, you want some yeah. straight other shit. So, I, I yeah, that and that's real tight life type of situations that you have to deal with and that's why they say don't be in your feelings because you can be in your feelings yeah. and thinking you ain't good enough or oh why they done that don't matter they right. did it to you move accordingly, yep. move accordingly. <laughs> hey move accordingly move accordingly don't get the emotions out of it you'll think better you'll feel better with the move you know what i'm saying and you, you will move you dig what i'm saying because that's like that oh my shit I'm close. I got everything. I got everything. I got everything. I'm talking about how I left with the smoothest. In fact, my people said, my people, a couple of my people, I got three bucks, I got three bucks. I'm like, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to be lying. Dog, how you move? 
Dog, that's classic. Yeah. Cause I would have beat up everybody. Bro, I, I done already I'd've been, been there. I'd have been did that. How you move? Dog, I just can't do shit for some gladiators. Like, I ain't even know. I ain't even know you was moving like that. I ain't even know you. Eat. Like, God damn, fuck that. Yeah. Yeah, I look at the <laughs> hey, that's just life, man. That's that's just real life, man. But it it, it molds you for for your future, especially if it, right. it's for me. The blessing is it happens early. If it happens yeah. early, that's good. If it happens late, like ten years, you like ah right, yeah, that's long. But I don't know, you know. You alive for that longer. So if that's your love, yeah. ten year love is really not a long love. It right. is long, don't get me wrong, but if it's on the deep if it's going on if it ain't like this and it's going right. like that, it's short. Right. <laughs> if it's going Thank like you. that, then it's long, goddamn. But if it's going down or like that, yeah, we can get rid of that. Right. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? I think a six year relationship is long enough to know who you with. And if it ain't that at six years, Y'all finna be on some other shit. Yeah. yeah. Like a mother. And that's long, but it ain't long. Because you got to, it's a while before you get to know somebody, regardless of what you say. No, true that. The true real. <laughs> yeah. For real. The For real. true that's real. Shit ain't shit. Yeah. That's just sex and having fun. Yeah. And, you know, most of the internet and stuff like that. Right. I was getting to that second and that third year to deal with kids. You start to see how people deal with money. Yes. You start to see how people deal yeah. with bills. You yeah. start to see what people mind that. You start to see what's more important to them than what's going on. Yeah. You start really seeing the person. Yeah. The yeah. You first motherfuckers must be victimized. Yes. Then you get to see the cars, you get to see the quicker, you get to drink a bottle two times for the kids, <laughs> you get to eat all the goddamn lunch food and shit, we get to sit up in your house with our feet up and play PlayStation in your living room and smoke weed and your quicker gets victimized. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But now that second year, you really see that right. this motherfucker just really ain't shit. But this woman really ain't shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's the year's mm-hmm. progress. So it do take a little while to really actually know a person, yeah, know those persons in the aspect how they deal with kids, how they deal with business, how they deal with financial, how they deal right. with transportation, how they deal with counseling. Would they be there, you know what I'm saying, to protect? Would mm-hmm. they be there emotionally to, to protect also? So we're dealing with women here. Oh, dealing okay. with women. You ain't got to understand that. Fucking emotional motherfucking creature. So you have to be there, you know what I'm saying, in those, in those times, hoods and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So you have to get on all levels and all aspects and all those things. So it don't take time. It just don't take one day. That's just fuck. That's all. Man. That's all. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you. All day. <laughs> what we got up next? Don't say something. Well, now, <laughs> you got something to say, Ty? No, I, I feel you. Shit, like, I know. Like, I done been, been through the ring of myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, believe me, I know, but guess what? I'm going to keep going. So. And that's the, that's the, that's, to me, that's the positive part that I see from it. Be just continuing to be who you are. Yeah. Don't let them fuck up your shit to work because I that's how I feel motherfuckers be they just want to fuck up you for the next person or Man, the real you. person <laughs> and it's like you ain't finna fuck me up cause right. motherfuckers like, <laughs> this whole shit that happened to me was still never fuck my shit up cause I still be that same motherfucking cool ass you ain't gonna fuck me up I might not trust you that fast but right <laughs> right, I might not fuck with you, but to everybody else, I'm finna be me. You got me fucked up. Got me fucked up. You don't get up. me, but everybody else get me. Yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna be great. <laughs> so, all right, I think we let you want to go to a video real quick, fam. Yeah, let's get to a uh, uh, hot video, man. You know, this is Louis Wood. Yep, don't say Louis Wood or Louis Wood, but we gonna this gonna be more of a discussion. So, yeah, yeah. you know. One of them hot videos, and we gonna get to that. All right, we about to go to that My City, My Home by St. Floyd. Yeah. Okay. Killing it. This is Blue We Wood Radio. It's my house, and if you don't like it, you get the fuck out. Blue We Wood.
What's up, Witty World? Science and Night Train, Night Night. Floyd Boy. You know what it is. I love my city. We got it going on. Plus, what Brian did today. Got the cotton. We even got the blue. Block to block. Corner to corner. You know how we do it. Brian did today. That's what it did. Call it home. Oh, Floyd Boy, oh, I miss oh, you, drop. St. Oh, Louis, my city. Oh, St. Oh, Louis, my home. St. Louis, my city. St. Louis, my home. St. Louis, my city. St. Louis, my home. St. Louis, my city.
Because I think he, I think he got a microphone. Came from North Carolina. Hold on, what the hell did I just do? Let me get back. Yeah, we had a we had a good time. You know you had a good time when your uh rental car get towed. Right. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> My bad, we had some technical I'm difficulties. Gonna, uh, I know y'all ain't, you know, been going on. We ain't been on for a I know y'all ain't been texting. We're waiting on the TV. There's a lot of shit going on. Not just the, the head on the top mug. No cap. No TV coming out the book. We had a lot to say. Money oh. that money and like I was telling y'all, been telling y'all on Louis Wood Radio, I've been telling y'all, we don't want these allegations to come out because I didn't say the right thing. I ain't say the right thing. So now I'm adding the right things, but it's the kids also. Been fucking with these kids also. So all this shit is, 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 Betty coming out. His partners. With this P. Diddy? Uh, yeah, P. Diddy, you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, yeah, I knew uh, this nigga was one Bodyguards that. telling on him. <laughs> Man, people are coming out, you know Damn. what I'm saying, letting know what's been going on. You know, it's one thing, like, who gives a fuck about people on free part? Right, you know right, right. That's your business. Right. But when it comes to raping people, you know what I'm saying, went to that, and you do that shit with people that into that that is willing to be. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Right. You can't and drug a motherfucker up and be raping a motherfucker. That's when it comes. That's where it comes. Oh, who gives a fuck up what you think that's your business? Man. That's the ass the right how with that. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> um, oh, it was a letdown. Oh, but we didn't man. give a fuck about what you were doing. Like, we didn't give a fuck. You came as I still in my ass. But put on Superman, you know, wives and kids and shit. And down low brothers are really dangerous because they give you this perspective that's not really them. They're really like this, but they showing you pictures. You think it's something? How do you yeah. think the NBA put it? They probably have it right now. Damn, man, have uh, you know, the white ever. Oh, yeah, that that the white, I, I, that the white shit. He he lame, man. He lame for that. Like you lame, bro. Cause you you could have just been real and just said yeah. you was gay and, right. and not don't. Uh, what was his response? I never. He, well, he pretty much do just out of them and he just admitted it. Like he 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 just admitted it because he had to admit it. Right. Right. He right. had to because it was you can't. You can, what what you gonna say? Right. So he just admitted that it wasn't it was consensual. Right. It showed yeah, all it the was, shit that he did, like they talked about. Right. Clearly, you're gay, dude. Right. You got Clearly, a whole you know, dude in here with, and just flirting with another dude. So you yeah, gay? Right. Right. Why you ain't act? You should have been. Just came out. I was straight. Really had doubt about. It. I thought they were just right. maybe he was right. like you a little little no kitty. Kids. Yeah. I thought he was just a kitty, kitty dude, like one of them kitty dudes. But because I saw when he grabbed old boy, nut that was gay as a motherfucker. How he did yeah, that? Yeah, that yeah. was gay yeah. as fuck. As a yeah. motherfucker. So I'm like, because yeah. I just saw gay like shit before, <laughs> but no, we're not tendencies. Just like so called straight dudes who do oh, right. like do like you know how white boys punching your nuts Put, up, yeah. mm-hmm, or a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Because motherfuckers in my school used to grab dudes and pump them in their ass. Yeah. And these was dudes who fuck with gay. So was that, was they gay? Right. <laughs> like, what was it? Like, and well, because look. Right. Know, when you say that, oh, please. Look, I have friends that, like, you go up to a girl, they're from back. 
hug on your neck like you can. Just to be like, you know what I'm saying, like contact or, you know what I'm saying, make it true. So, no, nah, you right. Motherfuckers used to do little silly shit like that. Mm-hmm. See, the thing was different now today then that we knew the person was one day. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, you know, that shit back in the day wasn't, you know, that wasn't. Yeah. Want to be doing? Man. You get what I'm saying? Especially at those times. Bro. You get what I'm saying? So it was a different time because we even had the dance, the uh, the uh, break dance, dance on. All that dudes used to do yeah. the fucking doodle brown. I remember the shit. Yeah. I didn't do it, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I saw dudes doing right. it, and they was dating girls. Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> but you know. I, I was on the wall. Anybody know me? I got, I got seats. <laughs> <laughs> came on, I'm on the wall and the ass bagged up with my skinny ass. And I'm like, you hear me up under a motherfucker. I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh, Brown, you know how little I am. So, Brown. I'm on the wall and I got down my ass. I'm on the wall. I'm on the wall. I'm on the wall. I'm on the wall. But P. Diddy, bro, I'm I'm a on P. Diddy. Like I can't get all the way into because I don't know what these cats do, man. I don't know. I can't. I ain't finna sit here and act like I know. As far as what people say, you know, if it's what like credible people done said, this dude pretty much got. Yeah. It. Right. And I done yeah. seen him on interviews where he was suspect. Like yeah. And he they asked him a question like he he straight be suspect like he. Yeah. He be straight suspect. Like I forget what they was talking about on the Breakfast Club, but it's just yeah. Like, uh, With the yeah. Right. Uh, you uh, <laughs> <laughs> like oh, right? Yeah. He was like, well, I just I thought he would want some, some new clothes. It's like, dude, come he on. He responded to what Fifty Cent said. Yeah, he did. Uh-huh. He was straight. Like, yeah, I just thought maybe he wanted some. He was like, I don't know. I uh-huh. maybe thought he wanted some new Did clothes. Like, you try to take me shopping. Right, like there ain't nobody. Come on, bro. No, I don't know. You no, know, it's getting deep though for me because see, my parents are pretty awesome. really not us. You let us know shit like that. I think like, he karma, you, bro. Just gonna pay the girl off. You still yeah. pay the off. Nah, it's it's karma, Raz. It's, it's karma. Hey, that's what it's nothing but karma. It's karma from Biggie it's and Pop. Up. It's karma from Biggie and Pop, bro. And it, it is I don't know if it got any uh, more to do. It's more to do with Biggie than Pop. That that karma, bro. Yeah, that's what that is. Because come on, man, he P Diddy is just like Trump. That's what he is, y'all, man. <laughs> come on. I know he's slick. I know he's slimy. Right, right. Of yeah. course, he he P Diddy. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the the throw off. Right, right. But come on, bro. Yeah, but I mean these allegations and stuff. I mean, man, it's, it's gonna be hard. To why why all things. of a sudden now? Why now? I was just gonna say. Oh, like, he must have fucked up with the Illuminati. Or he something. ain't he popping right now, is he? What yeah. happened to make it? To make everybody start to come out now. It's Pac. Pac. It's, I'm telling you, you can. Pe- I'm telling you, it's karma, bro. The Keefy Deefy shit going down now. Now all of a sudden, mm-hmm. P Diddy getting all these allegations. And they coming back to back. Coming back to back. All of that's one. That's karma, yeah. bro. This the same yeah. thing with Trump. Trump got something to do with that shit too. That's why all them indictments coming on his ass. Man. It's all. All the indictments. Oh, yeah, New it's, York. It's fucked up because all I hear <laughs> New York, New York. We got some African bombarder who raped all the people in the project. You dig what I'm saying? Who did we got what? Mark Kelly, one of the greatest, like, just hands down, fucking art, just hands down. Of the millennium. All he's ever had, what he did. Then we got P. Diddy. We also even got Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? The Wayne thing. You know, he heard he got caught up in the room getting hit by him. Yeah. And even uh, Lisa Lay say, uh, Lisa Brett said the thing. She say that was uh, the reason why her husband and her family problems because of Wayne. So all these allegations, all yeah. these allegations, I started to fight and I heard it was like crazy. Somebody asked, 
you feeling more like you feeling like yeah now I'm just like man man I don't know if I ain't even gonna listen to y'all no more because it's like when you listen to songs for real I'm I'm getting it now because I'm okay I'm getting the uh, I'm getting the sample fucking uh what's the man that uh man from God from God my oh, man uh uh what's my Aaron Hall yeah Aaron Hall oh and it fucked me up because they broke the motherfucker down. Well, actually, it was a fucking song of Blake. What song? What, what song? Go go. Who? You can speak to me. Who the fuck don't hear you? <laughs> Wait a minute. What song is yeah. that? What song? Yeah, I'm going to have to look at the CD because I'm coming on my mind because I've been man, I've been looking at this shit, this P Diddy shit and all this shit for a minute. I have to get the song to you. But it's on that album. It's either uh Don't Be Afraid. Um it's one of those love songs we love. It. it ain't I miss you, is it? I miss you. No, I ain't I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about you, baby. <laughs> He was the. That's who I thought R. Kelly. The first song R. Kelly came out, I thought he was biting off of Aaron Hall. Man, he was. He was, <laughs> was another level. Oh, he Kelly was definitely was better than. He, he definitely was better than him. But right, he just took it to another level. But he was yeah. definitely biting, just like Jimmy Hill was biting off Jones. Yeah. They don't want to get it. Yeah. They just couldn't overdo Jodeci like they expected. But yeah. Because Kelly said, Shoo! I don't need one. That's all that was. All day. Hey, all day. A lot of artists I can I kind of really copy because like it so much. So like this is so much so that kind of artist type of bit in you. Especially when you like them and you listen to them. And your artist is coming out with, so it's going to be some type of, you know what I'm saying, uh, copycat off the period. There's nothing to say. Look at this shit now. Everybody's like, <laughs> 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 everybody, everybody find something. We got to ask you what it is. Oh, that's okay. Right. That's oh. I got I got a St. Louis question for you, bro. Well, I got a question for both of y'all. So, have y'all ever heard of Homer G. Phillips? Yeah. Yeah. Do y'all know about the y'all know about the person or do you know about the hospital? I've just heard about it, but I don't know. I know about the person and a little bit of the hospital. About the hospital, a little bit. All right, so I was born at Homer G. Phillips. Okay. I was born the year that it closed, like two months before they went and closed that bitch down. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the hospital, when it was established, it was like one of the number one black hospitals black in, hospital, in black. the United States. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people. Uh, migrated to St. Louis, black people, to go to that because school and right. live here. So mm -hmm. a lot of prominent people came and was at that hospital. Uh, Homer G. Phillips was pretty much, I think he was a physician. Don't, I, I don't remember all of that, but he was very uh, instrumental in getting the hospital built. So um, however he got it built, and he was black. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So However, he got it built before it got built or, or whatever. He got assassinated. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they named it that. They wasn't going to name it that at first. Okay. But when he got assassinated, they named it that. But uh, whoever killed him, the, it was eyewitnesses that seen that he got killed on the trolley on Delmore Loop. Okay. And they got away. So basically he was assassinated. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, and I, I, I done told my people this. Well, I'm going to tell y'all that I'm lying. But I'm going to just say this. I don't know why that's not a movie. I don't know why that's not been, being, 
exploited. It's all other shit that's being exploited. Right. It's something here in St. Louis that's so raw that caused our people to migrate here and make this city pretty much, well, it is. you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay, all right. But that, that's some that's, St. Louis shit for you. Right. You know what I'm <laughs> no, saying? No, that, that's interesting, man. It's just about trying to get funded and stuff like that. It's like I'm still trying to do for my heart and stuff for other than St. Louis. Mm. Got to get and you got to get people that are interested in these things. And I think I'm going to take it a step further and stop fucking with these grants and start um, engaging in some other shit because you have to have other stuff for these projects. So I have to be that's actually willing to participate and put money towards that project. You know what I'm saying? I have to be interest in that project and mm-hmm. interest in that project and start putting together the campaign so therefore you can get funds for that project. You mm-hmm. see? So I haven't succeeded yet, but that's what you have to keep doing. You, see? So you ain't succeeding from the first round. You got to keep pushing and you can't, you can't quit and you can't believe in that dream also. But that's what you really have to put together. That would be a great move. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And there's something that St. Louis needs to do also is really concentrate on stuff that you dig know saying concentrate on some of St. Louis hip because we have a good history. Yeah, Even our hip hop history, it doesn't fucking start in no fucking Nelly. Mm-hmm. There's nothing against Nelly. Nelly is the best or black artist that we had to come out. Yeah. You can't deny that. Biggest artist to ever come to St. Louis big. But it doesn't start there. Right. Yeah. And I'm right. saying, don't start there. Don't start there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The second album actually schools was made DJ uh, Charlie Chan and Danger D. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the second album, the first album for some guys in Elmwood in fucking West County. Man. St. Louis now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a lot of history. You know what I'm saying? Like projects that came out. Um, or end up the way it's kind of like, uh, I say, like Bulletproof. Like when Bulletproof comes yeah. for the out. And I got history. I'm, I was actually the zigzag, and I was actually supposed to be on the track on that bulletproof. Believe it or not, I was actually supposed to be a fucking track on the bulletproof album. The guys from U City, love. Anyway, that's what you see. What's the little shit that the fuck they talked about? Yeah. But anyway, I was supposed to be on the track, but I wasn't supposed to be on the track. Cause dude had uh, all, some dude that also put me on the track. Before I got there, some shit, so I wasn't able to get on one of the tracks at that time. But they was very interested. So I said, great for the interest. All right. Said, hey, shit, especially at that time. That was early years. You know what I'm saying? You got like motherfuckers like Deli Dude. You got Black Pearl. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, I'll, I'll, take, the, I'll take the credit. Shit, I'm one of the first artists still now today to redo a St. Louis classic. It's nasty, but I did it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nice. There's a lot of shit. You got Silk Smooth Crew Odie. Then you got motherfuckers that was bringing uh, DJ Quick in the back hood. Yeah. I think DJ Quick is getting ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he ain't getting ass whooped because he ain't down her. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they was bringing him out to Smith's Lease and said, how the fuck you think AMG got on the remix and shit with a good way? How the fuck you think that happened? Mm-hmm. That's coincidence? No, motherfuckers ain't. They come to Smith's Lease and they were always in it. You know what I'm saying? At the top. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of history, a lot of shit that happened in St. Louis. I mean, to even from the promotional point to people that were starting the show, some hot entertainment. I mean, to a lot of stuff that started way before Nelly. That's why I be saying, I'm, I'm never just Nelly. You can't just Nelly. That was the biggest story. Yes, it was. But I'm trying to say it was stuff that was before that. Oh, right. right. It was a lot of stuff before that. Trust me, it was a lot. How you think motherfuckers take that? They did do the shit. Got your heart, bro. You know, I mean, I keep anyway. I got so I can just keep talking. Because <laughs> no, like I bought these tapes and CDs, mm. even though I was laughing, I was love to see like if you felt that like no, and not talking about no hating. And you see, like, yeah. just one, two, all you like, oh, shit, they did it. I know I can do it. Now, let me make a phone. <laughs> right, right. You know it was saying? inspiration. Like, right, right. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. No, it's like inspiration when you see yo guys. You hear Black Pearl. It was a nasty song. It was a nasty right. guy. Right now. <laughs> I love my. Sorry, sorry, man. I love my dick. My dick. My motherfucking dick. That 
shit together y'all out here hating like why you gonna hate on the situation that you could be in tomorrow right <laughs> <laughs> but how does that work like y'all idiots <laughs> like shit motherfuckers should be trying to get on the phone right shit. like come and on they, our they podcast sexy red. Right now. sexy red baby she out here doing her thing she been seen with every motherfucking body like <laughs> And killed the BT award. Hey, killed yeah. who? Who the killed the BT award like she killed it? Shit, nobody. Nothing that I know. Pregnant at all. She out there. Like, I can't even say nothing. She got motherfuckers. You can sing Blue Hole Brown, all that shit that you want, girl. If that's what's getting it, get it. Get it. She got motherfuckers down here talking about ski. Right, I'm yeah, I'm like ski. Ski. I work at. Sexy red, oh, we need, holla at her. <laughs> For real, we got the security and everything. Come Dang. on, we got you. Yeah. Come oh, on, that's what Nate, what's, what's that? Uh, I think her name on Facebook, Nate Savage. Come on down, girl. <laughs> yeah, we fuck with you. All right. Come on down. It's, it's a lot of artists out there. They're not as big. You dig what I'm saying? But we have a lot of artists that's really out. And that's they got great music that's doing some big things that just not on the status of you know what I'm saying, the sexy red at this point. Oh my right god. We got some more. Yeah, that that's man, this this my thing, man. That's always just like it's it's a LeBron that ain't been seen. Right. It's a fucking Michael Jordan that was never discovered. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's just, that's life. That's just it, what it, it goes, is. It goes back to what you said before, opportunity. Opportunity. Some yeah. people opportunity. had the opportunity, some people didn't, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, we, and my thing is to to keep it a level to where at least, man, we can make a living because everybody's not going to get the meal. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Not saying we ain't, but everybody not. Right. You know what I'm saying? So... Every level that we can get to, if we can get to the to the hundred grands, I want to get to the hundred grands. Right, right. Once we get to that yeah, hundred grand, then we can move, move to the next. <laughs> move to the next. Yeah, that's one. real shit. 
No, you gotta get you gotta get to that one level first though. Yeah. Once you get to that level, get then you progress. Go, then you know the next go. Yeah. Get to yeah. that level. Make it work. So you just can't you can't be like, okay, cool. I'm, 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 nah. 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 Tell my, like, uh, yeah. I got and everything. You just can't sit on your ass act like it's cool now. No. Nah. Like, Alright, cool. Nah. You just got to one level. You got levels to go. Right. We gotta keep so going. We gotta keep grinding. The grind don't stop. Yeah. Right. Man, don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable. This shit, if you do this shit this high, it took me away from your ass in three seconds. Trust me. I'm 51. Trust me. Man. Trust me. Yeah. Just like that. You'll be sitting there like, oh, what the fuck? No, nah, you gotta keep it going. Keep people. playing for a bit levels. But we gotta get that first. Get that. <laughs> what I say, L3? Two hundred Four hundred Five hundred all day. All right, bro. Let's let's do some uh some uh music reviews. I got like three songs right here. Let's get it. I think uh let me get right here. The first song is by Miss Law, featuring Jack Quadis. Hope I said her name right. Uh, it's called Benefits. Hi, Miss Law. Everybody wants the benefits. What's the point in being in it? What's the point in being intimate if you're hiding into it? Then coming down and doesn't what's gonna make you stand up for me? Yeah. See, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste your time. time. Waste your time. Nah. <laughs> so why would you wanna waste mine? Huh? I'm only in this for a purpose. Best believe I show you that I'm really worth it. Yeah. If you want to cheat, we can cheat. Uh, first off, can you pay my bill? Uh, See, my cost of precious time. It's more than coffee, wine, or me. Uh-huh. You want to shoot for that exclusive uh-huh. side? Can you support my shopping? Uh-huh. I need to know this information first before I let you uh-huh. have it. Look at me, bow stop. Uh-huh. When you see me, flow uh-huh. stop. If you don't understand or comprehend them, boy, you're loud. Uh-huh. Home that really shit. Uh-huh. Who gon' uh-huh. bring you mental bliss? Uh-huh. You just want that liquid lid. Well, boy, you gon' pay for it. I bring down the sense of miss of me. That please me, tease me, freak me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm real Mona Lisa. And those other are counterfeit. Yeah. I know you want this good love. Yeah. Who's you with that hood love? Yeah. The things I make you do yeah. for me. Yeah. What you gonna do for Everybody me? Everybody huh? want the benefits. Well, me too. What's the point in being in it? It's nothing for you. What's the point in being intimate? If your heart ain't into it, then you're coming down and doesn't what's gonna make you stand on one of the benefits. What's the point in being in it? What's the point in being in it? If your heart ain't into it, then you're coming down and doesn't yeah. what's gonna make Don't you stand on one of the Multi-thousand dollar burger. If you want to come for me, this fine for me. should really work. I'm looking for my Mr. T.I. A whole lot of money, B. A Mr. You can have whatever. Your debt will take it. You treat me good, I treat you better. Beneficial for forever. Will I ever fall in love? I've been there, done it, now it's never. Don't need commitment, no consistency. Just a situation. Don't need your broken promises or some old fake relationship. It's simple, cause I'm nimble, feel me? No dramatics over here. No strings attached, so why we yeah, and take me out my atmosphere. You give me this, I give you that. That's how it goes. And that's a fact. So don't be mad, no disrespect. So now you know. So come correct. It's give and take or how I blaze you. You blaze me from the floor to the bed. Talking about how you gave me. Oh, I gave you some of that super. So what you really want from me? What you really want? If it just don't benefit, then really tell me what's the pawn. Everybody huh? want the benefits. Well, me too. What's the point in being in it? It's nothing for you. What's the point in being intimate if your heart ain't into it? Oh. Then you come and tell me doesn't what's gonna make you say I want the benefits. What's the point in being in it? It's nothing for you. What's the point in being intimate if your heart ain't into it? Baby, I'm just trying to keep it real Put a ring up on it, I still I don't think you do But you and me, I do oh. Yeah I'm gonna let you 
go first. Let me go first. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm, oh, well, I'm just a guest. About the song. Well, oh yeah, well. my bad. Hey, yeah, that was Miss Law and featuring Jaquadis. Uh, with benefits, man. Shout out to Miss Law. She didn't. She normally performs at the Yours Awards, but she didn't make it this year. But uh, happy belated birthday! And you know you always welcome here on Louis Wood Radio, baby. I, like I just want to say, Miss Law, like some of these chicks can kind of take the points from. I mean, how she did the video, how she treats the music. You know, she. She's a grown lady. She do grown lady music. And she has a song called uh, on, on It Like This, where she used the old school book, which is one of my favorite songs. She jammed that motherfucker. She's like a real professional. Like whatever she do, from form to that play, then a form. Like everything she do is like professional. You can even see from the videos, you know what I'm saying? And I follow her also. I see the stuff like that she do, you know what I'm saying, as far as like you know, the podcast and stuff that she be on and stuff like that. Her shit is like real professional. A lot of young ladies can learn from it. And what you do is just how you do it. No you doubt. Know, and she does, does her shit real professional. You know, big shout out. That's, 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 that's like, if I like a, if I say I'm a like a, 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 a artist, it'd be me all death. Other than that, I see the progress, just how she do her shit. Even as you see that video, like that video was like straight, like that was superstar kind of video. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. you're a superstar. You know what I'm saying? That's the you know, that as a star. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's that video, like superstar type of quality. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The whole video. Like you got more than the song with the video. So just big shout out to Miss Law. You know what I'm saying? She, she's a great artist, and a lot of young ladies can take some pointers. You know what I'm saying? Off of Miss Law, how she do things and how she dust herself off of. Oh, and how man. she show love, because I got a whole bunch of pictures of her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you, man, you you know what? My ass, I done forgot we was writing that song. I'm glad you, you said, because you know what? Because I don't even, it's a 10. I'm so used to listening to it, like, I, I ain't used to writing it. But yeah, I'm with you. I'm going to give it a 10. That's that's yeah, a hard like ass song. I like that song. Yeah, yeah. and the yeah. video, like you said, the video go right with it. Yeah, yeah, all day long. Yeah, I need that in my life. You hear me? So. Say a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All day. <laughs> all right. Hey, we about to go to the next song. Uh, Stacks yeah. Brothers. Ella. Yeah, I go. Uh-huh. Oh boy, oh boy. I think it's time we get dressed. Oh boy, let's get dressed. Oh boy, in the room, baby. Yeah, a couple of elephants yeah. in the room, man. For sure. Y'all motherfuckers done did it. Done so, did it. It's official. You dressed this shit. Y'all motherfuckers done. Stacks brothers. Uh-huh. Dressed this shit. They said I couldn't, uh, I knew I could yeah. They said I shouldn't, uh-uh. I knew I would yeah. What's already explained should be understood uh-huh. Me and my nigga good, uh-huh. it's all love straight from the dirt Dug up from the lot in the hood no, <laughs> All this fly shit ain't come without hate nope. Lies, fake niggas and snakes nope. Masquerading as your uh-huh. folk Like, like you, you won't give them smoke Fuck a toke, I ruin these clothes Quick, take me for joke, take me for joke. Now they wanna holla, my shit's dope When I had them high from the first quote Think we ain't hear that bullshit Shit blabber, idle chatter from the peanut galleries. Now these niggas on their knees from this anaconda squeeze, whispering, please. Thought they knew me to murder, show them friendship separated by six degrees. Tried to play grown men, product of black caveman. No need to plead, let go. Nigga, I say when. When the wind pipe no longer pipes, when. When them pipes come out, they hands go up in the wind. Fuck friends, buffoons, how that like balloons. Bout to get popped soon. Taking room for real goons who get it from the mud, but eat with silver spoons. My testament to niggas turn hoes was once glue. Lying ass, ratting niggas, faking like they true. Claiming OG, really bitches. 
acting brand new. Niggas got a problem with me, address it. I spread fruit. Let's take a head count and see how many threads they count and who really get about what the fuck they yap about. Huh. Motherfucker. See, my mistake was time. Thinking that knowing niggas your whole life. And that time equates to honor and respect and loyalty. Huh. But a born snake, yeah. a born fake, uh-huh. can't operate outside its genetic code. Real That's rap. not how they were built. Yeah. If it ain't in them, well, what else would you expect from them? Chef up this cook up, grind time, no look up. Look for me, I've been booked up, now I'm the big fish, they wanna look up. Scene change when I pull up, scheme change like mo bucks. Lane change like hold up, used to know, but now I don't know us. I got the glow like showing up, raw blue on my show chucks. Been dope since Robux, I'm in the psych war because I go nuts. Slice of turkey like cold cuts, Mac is niggas couldn't hold us. Game change like cold crush, got an appetite for this gold rush. Niggas thought it wouldn't be us. Mad as hell when they see us. Mac is niggas wanna be us, they keep praying hard to defeat us. Been counted out my whole life. Raise the count on my show price. Fuck half, I want the whole slice. Judge me, I need five mics. Is my flow game. Yeah. Spark shit, I'm like propane. Yeah. Niggas are not who they proclaim. Yeah. Just ride the way to my flow uh-huh. chain. Set is dropping like boom boom. Yeah. Passing niggas like zoom zoom. Yeah. Doubt me is like too soon. Yeah. The ways I make is like time boom. Uh-huh. Another level like Bo Show. Yeah. I'ma always hit my free throw. Yeah. Y'all boys niggas yeah. like Kojo. Yeah. Just mad we did it, no promo. Uh-huh. Y'all cash the checks, we just stack mo. Yeah. Waiting to see how they act though. Yeah. Planting seeds my rack grow. Yeah. I'm in the studio yeah. with my stack grow. Uh-huh. Looking for I us, we're passing them up. Wanna be done? Address this elephant in the room. Real niggas do real things. Yeah. Stack brothers, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna let the queen speak on the first one. We're gonna let you rate this one. Well, it's a Stack Brothers, so it's a 10 for me. <laughs> With them, all that music, so it's a ten. All day. What you think, LC Raz? Well, you know, I, you know, you gotta go through. My, I'm glad you came to me first, cause you know I gotta go through my what I go through my what I go through my with the artist. So you know how I feel about the artist. So you know I gotta say stuff. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> now Stack Brothers, man, is one of the most underrated. Talented group in St. Louis. Oh, There's man. not nobody got that. <laughs> they music, like it's 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 artists that can come a certain way. Mm-hmm. They can stand still all day. They, if you try to do this, you be like, ah, you skip that song. Or if you try to do this, you be like, ah, you skip that song. Mm-hmm. Black brothers can come on any level do anything you want to do however you want to do it that brothers can do it <laughs> they can do it and yeah. this song right here I, i'm glad you put this song because i've heard this song a bunch of times and i just want to give a big shout out to that motherfucking daddy rich all day so, that's a prime example if this dude, this duo, can do what they want to do. Did right. you hear the bars on it? Hey, I do All you know? The way it was like, bro, he, he aiming. My boy, he Daddy Rich, I'm gonna tell it like he told me, cause I he proved that he ain't no bitch about this crap. Hey. He's aiming at whoever. Wants to, he he ain't, you know, he gonna accept underground, but he's not really aiming at y'all. He aiming at the big dogs. Okay. And you know who he talking about. He ain't talking about, he talking about the motherfuckers who putting their name on the kings of summer without motherfucker checking in. 
He's Ooh. on them cats. He's talking about the big dogs. He's aiming. So listen to the elephants in the motherfucking room. Talk to them. They're one of the most underrated groups, like, combined with all the music that I heard, and I heard so much stack but I got a lot of stack groups. Dog, they speak hard on me on every level. It's like there's not one song that you can really skip, like, if it's put together with an album. All day. It's like not one song you can skip. I like it's just like every other thing you buy. You might want to get the same song, but if you just roll it, taking a trip, that's something you're gonna put in. But you don't have to skip. You can right. just you know give a roll with one, roll another blunt, and you ain't got to do this. You can just do this. <laughs> do this. Do this. Yeah. Do this. All Until day. it's over, you might want to hit the motherfucker back just because. <laughs> All day. <laughs> No, that's real. All day. Yeah. That's real talk. Yes, sir. We ain't even got to the, uh, I'm not mad, Queen. We ain't even got to the one of the most famous videos that they did with the, uh, 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 Green Girl. That was the video. I'm talking about. With Green Girl? With Green Girl. Yeah, it's on here. Tight. Tight. We, 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 we got. I just like that, bro. I said, oh, no. I said on my playlist, I'm like, what's up? Oh, my foot, what's my foot, what's going on? Fucking ghost, what's going on? It's okay. Like, I said, my bad. <laughs> I, um, let me see what we got. Um, you already know how I feel about it. I, it's, it's a 10 for me. <laughs> video, super raw. I'm going to um, give me a video. I'm going to redo that getting dope video. So I'm gonna have all my peoples in it. It's gonna be it's gonna be different than how I wanted it last time. Mm-hmm. It, it was more like a scripted little situation on this. It's gonna be more family baller. How we get down and no let up type right, shit. Right. That's how it's gonna be on that level. Cause <laughs> I, y'all like the, y'all like getting dope. So I'm gonna go she ahead and do a different video for it. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. What you say? I should. But if I if I do a remix though, I gotta put Big B on that bitch. Oh, boy. That's my I know you gonna wanna be on it. I it, I can see me, you and What's Big that? B on it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to I'm, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna holler at uh sixteen pad Rainy see if he got the stems, cause I don't think I still got the stems. I might do though. But I gotta look for it, I, cause I I do wanna I do wanna remix. I I'm still do I'm still do yeah. the original video, vi- yeah. But and then do the remix. I don't know. We'll see, cause that might be That's high a, power. Yeah. <laughs> it, I fill up a little more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause we used to, you know, that's one of my favorite songs by you. We are. Yeah. Like, you know what I be saying? So like, just, shit, how's we got no let up and y'all not performing? Like, what? Like, <laughs> we ain't getting there and all, but you know what I'm saying? Like, the people like to give what they want. They do. They do. It's and not- I'm sorry I wasn't at the time. I wasn't there. I was going to fix the issues. I'm good now. I'll be ready to see us. Okay, man. As long as you pop out. See me, girl. Right. I'm going to pop up like this. I'm going to be like, shoot, hey, girl. <laughs> 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 All day, all day. All right, we finna go to the next video, fam. This uh, yes, this Big B of Nappy Roots and Urban Mystic with beats by King of the Beats. It's called All on Me. King of the Beats. Lord have mercy, mercy, mercy. She could have her way. Her way. I mean, nail done, hell done, everything did. Oh man, she could have it all. Decide right with me. Tell her, tell her. Do what you wanna do. Go anywhere you want. It's alright with me. You can't. 
in. Have what you want to have. Get anything you want. Girl, it's all on me. We can do what you want to do. Go anywhere you want. It's all right with you. can have what you want to have. Get anything you want. Girl, it's all on me. Let me be honest. I said, I been following you and your ebonics. You got me feeling some type of way, girl, you be on it. What's that you on? I don't know what it is about you, but I just can't get over your introduction. I'll be down to give you everything, 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 girl. We can go. House and silver spoon, silver spoon. Put my astronaut suit on and go get you the moon. You the Run moon. you a bubble bam, bubble Snuggle bam. and make you land. Uh -huh. Love the dimples in your cheek when you smile and land. <laughs> May I have your autograph? Your diabetes sweet. Like a rose with no thorn. Beautiful, you need. How about a shopping spree? Shopping everything spree. for free. Everything. In everything you see. Courtesy of me. By the way, the name is V. You know my resume. resume. Oh, no. Hell no. Look like a good day yeah. for me to get to know you and have a chance to show you. Uh, and if I get to know you, you'll be loving what I show you. Or we can cruise and take a flight. On a private jet, yeah, private if we jet. choose, we play fight and watch the sunset. 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 Picnic on the line. line. You having fun yet? Huh? Cause it's only just begun. I ain't done, done yet. yet. We can do what you wanna do. Go anywhere you want. You can have what you wanna have. Get anything you want. Girl is all on me. Okay, I hit the board tonight. Hey, that's what I'm saying, man. That's you know what, Big B. This this one game that Big B gave to me. He he even gave me a few pieces of nuggets on certain situations, but this is the number one thing that I peep with him because I asked him about the Illuminati and I asked him about uh, you know he don't want to get to that status no more. You know what I'm saying? And that, that when when I saw that and I heard that, I'm like, it, it made me think. It, it, mm -hmm. it kind of humbled me a little bit. Like, because I was, you know, I'm shooting for the stars. Right, right. But, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, when he was like, if we can do blah, 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 this, 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 that, and we can still live a good life. Right. Mm -hmm. And he broke that shit down. I'm like, you know what? You're right. And it's not hard to do. Right, right. <laughs> it's not hard to do. It's just about sustaining it. Mm -hmm. That's really all it is. It's about sustaining it. Mm -hmm. That's the hard part. But we can do it. It's not hard to right. do. Right. You know, so I was like, okay. But the um I get that song, man. That that's a definitely a ten. And 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 if you saw the video, the energy, goddamn. They, they was rocking it well, a bit. <laughs> you know, he always making inspirational songs. Yeah, you know what I'm like saying? That thing. been yeah. since Nappy Roots. That's why, you know, I love him back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was doing my little, 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 little shit back in the day, you know what I'm saying? That was like one CD that was up in my van. 
I had a lot of speakers in my van. That's why I always talk about my van. People that don't know about the black van. <laughs> you, know, you heard the black van from like two blocks away. Man. So, you know what I'm saying? That was, was you? Happy head, no. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Grandma, yeah, you're growing trees. <laughs> <laughs> I got you with me. Okay, okay. But for that, so, when I be saying Big B still doing his thing and how he's doing it, staying consistent with how he's doing it. You know mm. what I'm saying? There's no changes from what they doing with the next group. He's still to that same element and bringing that same energy. You know what I'm saying? And it's positive energy at that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's good, good feeling music. That's that's the thing with what's wrong with that. Like, nobody don't say, like, we had NWA, we had cute music, we had Fight One, you know, we had our gangsters, but at the same time, we had Bay Yeah. We had Public Mm-hmm. We had Kid Frank. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't forget Will Smith. Dance with Will Smith. We got Adam. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Yeah, right. Will Smith was straight. I straight had his CD. I knew all the songs on this shit. Like I was. I don't know how old I was, but I fuck with Will Smith. Whatever that was. Parents don't understand. I, I was. I, I hey. that shit was for real to me. <laughs> hey, we talk about what like the what most underrated rappers like DLC because of the car crash. And we always mm-hmm. say he could have been one of the greatest. Will Smith is actually one of the greatest because you have to understand. I always tell people when you can rap hard without cursing. Yeah. yeah. That's the whole nother talent. Like we can get on her. I can freestyle and say, "Motherfucker, this just fuck you all day." Right. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? But another talent, when you actually all your skills without cursing, and they're good songs. Yeah. They ain't just no white song. They're platinum selling songs. Yeah. Without First rapper to win a Grammy. Without cursing. You get what I'm saying? So that's the whole other channel that when Will Smith should always be in people's mind that's one of the greatest in the city. Just, but there's so much talk going on with that dude right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. But anyway, you can't <laughs> take that from the top. I always say, even though all the allegations have to all our great people that's going on right now, the talent, now the talent level, you can't be, be denied. Even P. Diddy, the talent level, the way you can see talent, even though they did shit this motherfucker needs to be but anyway the way you see talent and develop talent and the, the things that they did you can never deny that shit like you can't you can say fuck a person right but i say I might, like right now fuck our candidate that person like personally like that shit's crazy but for a talent and the music that's on the next level you not going you can't to knock, you can't knock right that up. You can't deny it. Like, you can't. You, like, you can't. Now, I ain't saying that none of these people should have participated in what they did because you know how I stand with that. From all of our time, ass should be one of your people that's going to shoot ass to go shoot because you got pissed and allowed this shit to happen. Just like when you, you going, all right, if you go on a robbery, you'll be like, hey, fuck that nigga. you be like, fuck that. And you go in there, hit him up anyway. And I'm sitting there in rough. I'm taking the money. What am I? Yeah. I am a accomplice. Yeah. So no matter if I didn't kill nobody, not in physical for nobody, I did the same goddamn thing you did. Right. Because what I didn't do, I didn't leave, I didn't stop, I didn't get nobody involved. I actually participate in what happened. That's the same thing I said. So I am a accomplice. Yeah. They asked to do it too. Regardless yeah. of snitch. All right, thank you for the information. Click, 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 click. Yeah. Yeah. The part, yeah, parents let y'all go for years. You was there. They didn't say anything. They didn't do anything about it. Like you ain't try to stop it. You ain't try to break it up. Nothing. Like yeah. y'all should be locked up too. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's, that's neglect. All uh, day. Why is you complaining about, about it? If that's, that's the case. <laughs> ain't no way my sixteen year old, seventeen year old, and I'm finna go somewhere, and I'm just gonna sit back and just. Oh, yeah, right. She's at a grown man house. He a singer. Okay. Okay, cool. Right. Like, like where is you going and why is you going over there? Come on home. 
And if yeah. I don't know and you done been there, you best to believe when I find out you're dirt, uh, I'm bringing the police to come get right. your ass. Like, no. <laughs> like, like, what? What are we doing here? Yeah. Um, it's, like, okay, he locked up and the parents should be locked up as well because y'all mm-hmm. condone this shit. Yep. No I'm doubt. Anybody else that got numbers? trying to become get get all that type of uh in that situation to be dealing with that type of shit. Right. Fuck that shit. That's I I, well, I you know, they do it to too, though. Well, I I'm gonna just say this. Whatever issue he had, if that's the issue he had, man, hopefully he come to to some type of help and see whatever the case may be. Um I don't really know, you know, I I'm gonna say this. I don't have a problem with uh, any age man or any age woman dating young people. I don't if, you, if they like eighteen and up. To me, there, that's their that's that's fair game for whoever. However, if that's how you get down, if that's what it is, that's what it is. At least they're eighteen. Right. But if they a legal age, if they do it like sixteen and all that type shit it gets kind of fidgety if you like i don't know yeah. I, I can't really if you like 40 and you're trying to date a 16 year old all right you kind of that's kind of weird yeah. but if you went to their parents and they said yeah and all this crazy shit then what can we say about that exactly it's <laughs> like and then the, the parents come 30 years later and we all want to get this man locked up yeah right don't want that shit because yeah, y'all could have prevented that this shit right there. It, if it was so much important to you, and it was so much of a problem for your daughter to be there with a grown ass man, she's 16 or 15 years old, you would have been there immediately. Not the fucking 20 <laughs> yeah. fucking later. No, yeah. you would have been there immediately. Immediately. I tell you, I had my daughter since she was born. Yeah. She's 23. Tomorrow. I had my daughter, and she would let you know anything like that. Mm. I'm there immediately. Mm. I'm small, ten minutes later, right. two seconds. Right. I'm there immediately. Mm. I know what's going on. Number two, she wouldn't have been that that predicament any fucking way right. to be even around that kind of motherfucker. I thought Squeeze was trying to see me for my daughter at the show. He was trying to do a little too, trying to smoke with me. You gonna get your ass over there? Go on, play that shit. <laughs> and everybody said the respect that I got because I don't care about shit. And she know I love her, so I'm going to be there immediately. Right. Not going to let you do nothing to my daughter. You do that to somebody else, not mine. Mm-hmm. No, you're not. You 
get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they if it meant so much to them, because I'm that kind of guy. Yeah. So I can't if it meant so much to them. Man, it was mothers and, and fathers. Oh my god. <laughs> so <laughs> no. Nah. They, they knew what they was doing. And it's crazy how nothing happened, nobody knew about nothing back then. You ain't heard nothing about it or nothing, but now all of a sudden this person, that person, that person, yeah. this person, like what the fuck? That's that's weird to me. Yeah. So it is. But it is what it is, man. I I mean, yeah. I I don't know. I can't speak on it. Oh, I I do believe he like young ass female. That was yeah. obvious. He he yeah. proved that with Aaliyah. Yeah. We that knew was, that. that. Right. <laughs> he was like, was he twenty two then? Twenty two, and she was like sixteen or something, or fifteen. I think he was like fifteen. Fifteen, he was like he was twenty-two. Like 15, he was like twenty-two, twenty-three, something yeah. like that. So you know what I'm saying? That's that's pretty young to be showing that type of, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like you right. already going for that right now? You twenty-two, dog? Right. Right. Or twenty-three? So you know. Okay. You can still okay. you can date an eighteen-year-old and be cool at that age. Right, right. Now I'm finna say some shit. Nah, he going for he like fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still so young young looking. I had the mama them for the <laughs> for the possession. Oh, check it out though. Oh, gee. These young girls that's seen. They don't want. To that's right. I know. I know they that. Twenty-one. I witnessed that. I witnessed that. You did now. It's something about, like I've been in this atmosphere. You dig what I'm saying? Like I was more of the side where you get older. Like we used to push it. It'd be like, okay, that right there, he's 18. Boop. <laughs> there I go. Oh, there I go. Until they got that call. They own it. They know that one trying to get to the other one. But that's the end now. <laughs> you wait years. Damn. Shit. By the time you get in there, I already been. <laughs> 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 You know what I'm saying? That's I'm just real shit. You know what I'm saying? They get that because of that. You know they they look out for themselves out in that type of way, and the, the age gap is, is yeah, that that's is, real. That that's you're not lying about that. But there that. are people that did that. They actually did it places and not like that. They just talk, motherfucker ain't talk. Yeah. And then it was consensual. Yep. 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 Somebody, yep. Yeah. Motherfuckers snuck up the curb out. Went down that little ride in the back. Boop, boop. Out the store. Took your baggy clothes off. Down the dress. Already. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> so you, gotta, you gotta understand for real that shit be happening. It and do. And another thing, yeah. motherfuckers lie about their age. And if you're not a person that. And, and a lot of guys been the victim of this. You know what I'm saying? I even had to learn some shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? All right, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm <laughs> Nah, that was my I second mean, baby mama, mama lied to me. Because <laughs> I'm looking for eight. Hey, she you talking about me was straight 18. She 15 like a mom. Right, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Suit me clean up. You take care of your little sister. Your little sister's like, well, no. I caught her in the straight no. lie like a motherfucker. She said something about a sophomore year this. No. I'm like, huh? No. I thought you was a junior. No. Oh. No. <laughs> like, no. you were. That's the best way to just decide, man. You got to look at their teeth. Like, it's too late, man. I'm still <laughs> like, I'm about my age, but I ain't taking it. I say, conversation. Look at their teeth. <laughs> Those two little, those three little sentences come out their mouth. Say, I own you. Always say that. Well, say that. Say, oh, don't look at the mouth, don't look at the face. I'm, like, I'm at the age. I, I can just look at you and tell her. I owe you. <laughs> you know. Man. You know. Yeah, I ain't looking. If I got to look that hard, I don't even need to be looking at I work in high school now, and these motherfuckers look older than me. <laughs> yeah. And I be looking like. For real. What? I'd be so confused because these little girls look older than me. Damn. Because I guess I'm, I'm looking 13. at I don't well, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm 
I mean, they, they had the makeup on, the wigs, and the, the, the lashes, and the eyebrows, and the long ass nails, and I just be like, I'm like. But you know, people. Wow. Mm. So you gotta understand, when you allow that type of person, you know, back in the day, no lipstick, shit, and certain age, and stuff like that, when you allow them that, you get the same makeup, you do look old. Man, let's talk and about more, that. We need to talk about that. Real. Because when you, you, you know, sometimes you have to, I know sometimes you have man. to be like, mine. Nah. Right. Like, you have I, to be a dad. I don't like makeup on, stuff. but for you to be able to get up, we're getting ready for school every morning and put makeup on, put your face on and get together yeah. like that. Like, come on now. Like, for real. I mean, the thing is, it's all, I see it, man, we ain't never, we ain't have it like how the, like it is now. Right. I'm right now like on 50 lives. <laughs> when when we was young, it was none of, the, like we lived where people looking at us. Now remember, we didn't right. want that at first. We, right. didn't, we wasn't raised where we wanted people in our business. Right, right. Now they're all in our business. Right. And we wonder why these kids getting up putting, because they, Everything is everything now. Right. That's weird. No, how did I, it, I get it turn? Kid, how, how did we? How I did, did that? How did that become right, no. that? We wasn't like that. That's why we don't right. get it. You know I what I'm saying? We. What? I'm like, Great wow. Point. Great point. We straight. Wow, it's it's nuts. I'm gonna tell y'all. I don't know what year it was, but it was once we didn't have cell phones. It was one time in the household there was not a TV. I, 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 I was born where it was a TV, though. But it was like them big-ass TVs. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like how we got them now. Mm-hmm. The floor TV yeah. that weighs 20 tons. Man, <laughs> but it was no cell phones. And no, it was no computers or laptops or none tablets or none of that shit. None of that shit. So uh, the, the, the MySpace was like the first social media for real for me. So, and I was late on that. You know what I'm saying? So, like this shit now, it is out of control, but at the same time, it's good for capitalism and uh, business. That's what it's good for. But as far as our senses and social and all that, it's really fucking us up. Right. It's, it's really it's throwing even our shit out. Yeah. You know it is. That's why it's like, more really shootings like, now of little mm-hmm, kids. Mm-hmm. That's the number one death now of children. Yeah. School shootings. How can that happen yeah. in America? That now that's weird. Man. That's and that's what you talking about, the sensitation. They don't give a fuck. They don't care about our they don't they don't they go into schools and churches and shit. That's nah. But it, and, it, and it's, I say desensitizing that happens so much, it comes to a point where it's just like somebody can't feel like my town back to back. It's just and it's like, do, 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 I'm like, oh, they, my, oh, they shooting. Like, you ain't, that, y'all don't do nothing. Like, they shoot every day. Like, that ain't nothing. It's okay. Yeah. And actually, it's not fucking okay. Right. But I got so desensitized. Yeah. To the point where it happens every day. Yeah. Five every day, police every day. So you get more as every time you see this shit on TV. So now, from going from one shooting to this shooting to this shooting, by the time you get to the sixth shooting, it's more like, damn. But okay, let me get back to bed. <coughs> but like, damn, it's fucked up. Let me get back to like, it's no emotion. Like, oh, no more. That's yeah. the first. Like the second, you dig what I'm saying? Five, ten years down by the third, or the fourth. That was happening so much before, like, desensitized. Well, you know? then, but I'm going I'm to take it more further than that because I got to talk about this. We don't really get to talk about Trump a lot. But it's, it's, that's how Trump's still fucking the number one Republican right now because we so desensitized to his bullshit mm-hmm. and we got double desensitized by the government like people already knew the government was fucked up we knew that yeah we knew america 
you know, had his flaws. We was definitely part of that. We right. we know that. Yeah. We've been talking about the DOJ and blah, 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 and all that type of shit. Right. So that was the sense of time. So here he come with his slick ass, using it for his motherfucking self and then trying to get out of it for his motherfucking self, but using the same tactics that we was already talking about with clowns who don't even need to use what he talking about. Lames. Yep. Y'all storming the capital for what? Y'all taking vacations doing this shit. Shut the fuck mm-hmm. up. Fuck is y'all talking about? Shitting and doing dumb shit. Over Trump? Because he done souped y'all up? Stop this madness. Y'all took vacations right. to go do this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's that's that. Right. Like, a planned vacation. We're going to go fucking storm the fucking capital. We're going to fuck our fucking passports. Get up here. And they start this shit. I'm going to run right back. You feel me? We're going to run in that motherfucker. And we're going to tape in this shit. Man. We're going to be alive. We're going to fucking go. It's like, I don't Look at all this. I'm, I'm laughing when I'm looking. I'm laughing. And then y'all, so to me, so slow. Y'all going against the same people that y'all dumbasses was saying that, oh, blue lights matter. Mm-hmm. Y'all fucking these police up. For what? Right. But blue, blue lives, lives matter. Blue though. lives don't matter. That yeah. matter, huh? It didn't oh, matter yeah. that day. Yeah. It didn't matter that day. It didn't matter that day. Motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> Like, fuck them. They was, they was whooping their ass. Yeah. Like, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. So going in. I, even with this man, and just you know, when he won the first time, you know, I was really, really upset. But at the same time, I calmed down and said, "Okay, it's politics." Mm-hmm. And yeah. he, you know, when it comes to politics, really, the he he got it good because he's slimy already. Mm-hmm. So people don't. It, it's like he's immune because they already know he's slimy. Right. So he gonna win the politics of it, right. but. I don't, that's all I can say. He can win them politics no, up because he's slimy. And that's Please, nuts. Play chess. Look what he did. Who was the only president to give HBCU all the money? Yep. Who? You Who? hear me? Slick. Slick. Who that, that like Kodak Black and motherfuckers that like Lil that? Wayne? Yeah. Who? Slick. Who? 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 You see what I'm saying? Slick. Wait, no, right. I'm like, I'm, I'm looking at him like, that don't move me, bro. I know what your slick ass doing. He know what he doing. Boy, it's slick as a motherfucker. Super slick. I'm like, but I I'm see you, about. though, bro. I, was, I see you all the way. I If you wasn't so, if, if he didn't use the race shit, if he right. didn't try to shit on us, talking about make America great again with that racial shit, that bullshit, if he would have never yeah. did that and did that everything shit. else, everything else, I would have gave him a thumbs up. But don't shit on yeah, us. You have some money. Don't, cause we fuck and, with you. And, and at the end of the day, yeah, you, you, you need us. You need us. That's why you doing all this shit. All day. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, you know, the best, you know, that's a whole other topic when we talk about the black dollar. The right. black dollar is the most powerful dollar that they have. That's why they do what they do to get our black dollar. Yeah. This right. is the most powerful dollar because we buy everything. Bullshit. Everything. Right. <laughs> yeah. We that's are what? consumers. That's what they consider us as, and they are right. They are right as far as most, but yeah. we're going to change them type of minds where we from. We gonna become. It's not gonna be about consumption. It's gonna be about assets. Assets. That's what we really we want. Know about the assets. See, that's a yeah. whole other conversation. We talk about assets. Yeah. Like people talk about how much it's worth this and that. And they yeah. said it's not so much of dollars. It's not so much. It's about those assets they are having while they are also that much money. Yeah. Man, come on, yo, Swiss. This this really went great, yo. Y'all want to learn some shit? <laughs> 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 All day. It's like, come, come, come to school. Come to school. Come to school. We'll teach you. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. we, we got it, though. But, man, we getting too close to the end, man. Can we 
Go ahead and hit them promos if you got them, and then we're going to hit the uh, last video and get up out of here, fam. All right, let me get those promos real quick, please. It's a real quick right, real quick. That's Oops. all right. Take your time, bro. How we good? We almost done. You got to use the bathroom? No, they close by. All right, you are. They want to be on the radio. Y'all tune in. Y'all tune in. And here it is. Uh, for this global network, so I'm Lil' Tim Dixon and Bluey Wood Radio. That was a couple of conversations and everything like that. Don't forget that. Speaking of food, if you're looking, thinking about Kayla, you should be thinking about this. One of the best cats at the area. She has a delicious that, selection from soul food mm -hmm. to vegan dishes. Hit her up right now for a seafood oh, class. Man, I I kids. You can also check her out on Facebook. Three one four five four six two four eighty eight. Again, three one four four six four eighty eight. Most definitely kept at Lulu Also, now at the new location at Hollywood Entertainment at one five five. Floor, some ropes, and every Saturday, 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 I'm sorry, 6 p.m. Uh, underground show every Thursday, Friday at 6 p.m. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Book, Instagram, TikTok, where you rock, I rock. Look me up, man. <laughs> <laughs> All day. Where they can find you at, Ty? Ooh, let's see. Where do I start? Oh, my gosh. Um, Exotic Happy Hour on Facebook. Um, W3W. Um, on Facebook and Instagram. Um, ooh. Um, no let up podcast. There's <laughs> 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 something, something everywhere. You can oh, find man. me. It's just look up Ty Cousins on Facebook um, or Instagram. You can find me. Yeah, yeah. And you know where you can find me at. So the Bob Blood everywhere. Hey. Find me on these streets, man. We finna get up out of here. Nothing but love, y'all. Shout out to TT the Don Dada. And we'll be tuning in next week, man. All love.
fingers. I swear, oh yeah, you're a nasty girl. Wanna use my plastic girl? Just like I like it, girl. Gonna bring another girl. Hey, uh, break up, break up. You know I'm a busted girl. Why fucking open girl? You know I'm the stinger. I swear, nasty girl, a magic girl, a bend it over, blasty girl. Miss Carmen, let me feed you. You got that thirst and I got that juice juice. Let's play house. I be the mommy. Perfect clutch that Kawasaki. You ain't mine when you say you got me. I feel you strong when you push behind me. Yeah, you wanted a boss. Got you a guy creating a juice. Now let's go to the side. Slide him a taste and watch him get loose. Watch him get loose. The only me now that you and I that been up for two. They get on the star. I swing so high. I shut it like ooh. Like ooh. In the truck, I got it. In the back, I got it. On the top, I got it. To the side, I got it. To the back, I got it. On the top, I got it. To the side, I got it. I got it. I got it. Finger. I swear, oh yeah, you're a nasty girl. Wanna use my plastic girl? Just like I like it, girl. Gonna bring another girl. Hey, uh, break up, break up. You know I'm a busted girl. Why fucking open girl? You know I'm the stinger. I swear.